Right, quiet. Hello, 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 hello. I'm a bit nervous about tonight, about my announcement. Let me know if you can hear me. Uh, he can definitely get a signal. <laughs> Let me know if you can hear me, guys. I am in a cow shed here right now, and um, you can hear me? I'm in a cow shed right now, and this cow shed has got a big, big, big difference to the ones that you can usually see me in, hoof trimming and um, going about my daily job, because this cow shed, and this is the big announcement, guys. I hope it's not a total letdown. This shed is mine. It's, um, we have bought a property that has got outbuildings and it has workshops and it has land and it has a house. And that means that we can bring animals into the channel. I can have my own cows to look after and play with. Um, pigs will be coming to the channel. Sheep will be coming to the channel. Maybe goats, chickens, definitely will be, all sorts of stuff. And it brings a whole new era to me because it means I am the type of person who likes to play with welders, who likes to change things on his cattle crush, but can't right now because I am basically in a tiny little house with a driveway. And this means that I can make a huge, huge difference to the channel, bring you guys way more content, and that's exactly what I want to do. And these guys here who are playing in the background, say hello, Campbell. Hello. Say hello, Kira. Hello. Oh, I don't know where Kira is. Oh, there he is, yeah. These guys have got loads of room to play and to do all they want. So we have got a cow shed here that is full of pens, um, Loads of areas, we've got loads of outside areas. I'm gonna go for a walk around the property. Come on, Campbell. No, okay. Campbell, come on, quick. I'm gonna go for a walk, go and get him. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a walk around this uh, property, but it is quite dark here right now. But the most amazing thing about this place isn't actually the place, it's the view. So my view is of the ocean, uh, it's of a huge bay, mountains in the background, and we can see for miles and miles. It's just outside Wigtown. Um, guys, I am trying to read your comments. Uh, Anne-Marie, it's just outside Wigtown. Congratulations, congratulations. So happy for you. Thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, unfortunately, it's quite dark, but I'm going to show you quite a bit of what I can show you. So that was part of the animal shed. Now I have got a big warehouse that I'm walking into right now where I can park my crush, which is right behind me right now. Um, it is massive. It might not look that big on the camera, but I promise you this thing is huge. Um, it's a lot bigger than where I was before. Uh, Aaron Lavoy should visit me. Aaron Lavoy is going to visit me fairly soon, actually. Uh, no baby. No, I'm afraid, Kyle. There is no baby. <laughs> Thanks for all the love, heart, guys. Um, I'm going to show you, I'll go up the back and see if I can show you part of the view. So if we come outside, I'm going to turn you around actually. Can I turn you around? Hold on. So this is the view. I know it's a bit hazy guys. We're pretty dark here. Um, but that right there is where the sun will rise every morning. Um, we have mountains and hills over there. Uh, our property goes way down there. There's part of the cow shed warehouse and our house is here it looks tiny from this angle but i promise you it is uh, a lot lot bigger um guys if you want to ask me any questions right now feel free uh so if we go down here i'll show you come on campbell right guys ask me some questions uh hello from smoky oregon hi Be betty betty beach what a view the view is incredible i wish it was uh, earlier but you guys are going to see loads of that in the videos to come and that is the main believe it or not this house a huge part of buying this house where it is was the fact that youtube exists and i don't mean from a point of view of actually buying it i mean the reason for buying this actual house was that it can bring so much more to the channel for you guys 
to hopefully see and be entertained by. Um, are you still getting me? Yeah, you are still getting me, I think. Um, so yeah, it's massive. Like it's, uh, I'm gonna, the warehouse part of it is massive for me because it means we can open a hoof trimming school. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do. It's something I've always wanted to do properly. I don't want to just do it half-assed. Um, no, Lacey, we're not moved in yet. We are moving in in about three months time. Um, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the property in a minute, which me and Craigie Boy are going to renovate over the next two months. Um, thanks very much to the Super Chasm. Thanks members for uh, looking out for me. What's the biggest Hereford bull you've ever trimmed? I'm from Hereford. Um, some of them are massive. Their feet are absolutely colossal. Hereford's feet are like dinner plates. They're like unbelievably big. Who would like to see inside the house? Is that too boring? Do you want to see inside the house? Yeah. It looks like a tiny little cottage from the outside. But it's actually much, much bigger than you would think. And it's all getting ripped to pieces. Um, have you ever been to the Netherlands, says Xander? No, I haven't. I'd love to. And I know quite a lot of people over there who trim cow's feet. So I should do that. A tour of Europe is coming up and it would have happened by now. But COVID-19 happened. So we are thinking about doing a tour of Europe next year where I go hoof trimming all around the different countries in Europe. So if you fancy being part of that, get in touch through social media. Uh, me, 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 me. Yes, me, me. You want to see inside how many acres? It's just four acres here, uh, Breden. Cam Campbell is putting that net over my head. It's four acres here, but there is a big, big field behind us which we are contemplating, um, contemplating buying. Right, I'm going to show you around the house. Um, Ashley is in there with her dad just now, and her dad probably doesn't want to be on camera, so. I'm going to show you, okay? Here we go, I'm going to turn you around and show you around. I'm trying to catch a football now. Actually. Right, questions. Oh, ignore me. How's it There's a... It's pretty big. So, this will be the studio, very boring. It has all been stripped out. As you can see, it's really old fashioned right now. Uh, boys bedroom, boring, massive long hallway, say hello Kia, yeah you saying hello? hello, who enjoyed Kia being in the video last time guys, hello. you saying hello Campbell, hello, I, hello. I, I, I've been tiny little bathroom but that is getting moved to this room, uh, so this will be the bathroom, be a bedroom there, a bedroom there, two bedrooms up the stairs, one bedroom in here and the bathroom and everything and then dining room but all of this is being knocked out and the kitchen will be through there so a huge archway all the way through there and then this is the living room and the living room walks out to the balcony, that is right, it's not a balcony, it's a terrace. Uh, the dogs are going to love it, you're right, the dogs are going to love it. So that is our view on a morning. Um, as you can see, we are very dark right now. Um, turn it around. Right, I'll get to your questions, guys. Uh, where? Okay, right. I'm going to show you it now. Our dad is disappearing, I can show you the rest. Right guys, hit me with some questions. When I sit here, I'm going to answer as many questions as I can that you guys want to ask. You can ask about Gracie, you can ask about hoof trimming school, you can ask about this property. Anything you would like to know, I can answer right now. This, obviously, is the kitchen. The kitchen is really big and it's all being smashed down. Craig's job tomorrow, we're not hoof trimming tomorrow because we just got cancelled. So Craig's job tomorrow is to take all of this wall down, rip up the floors and basically just destroy everything in his path okay custom walk at your place i'm not sure what you mean can't get the video to play Ooh. do you plan to have cattle there yes i plan to have some sort of cow or cattle or something somebody actually mentioned something really incredibly um exciting about gracie in this place but maybe more to come on that you never never know uh what else are you guys saying to me 
I'm struggling to get your chat messages, guys. I really am. Um, so Gracie Cow812, I saw Gracie Cow812 the other day. She is going to be in a video tomorrow, guys. So there is a big, big update on Gracie. Um, she is doing fantastically well. She's heavily pregnant in calf and expecting a baby anytime soon. Um, can you get the message up, Ashley? Uh, lame cows can live with you, says Nancy. That would be a really good idea, wouldn't it? If lame cows could come live with me, but I'm not sure uh, Mrs. Hoof GP would enjoy the lame cows in her back garden, but it's definitely an idea, isn't it? What is everybody else saying? Have you decided to continue trimming after your move? Of course. So we are actually moving seven miles and we're moving to a town called Wigtown. And that town is where I kind of grew up. It's where my mother lives, where Ashley's mother lives, uh, where the kids are gonna go to school. It's where Craig lives. It's all, uh, can you get me on live? Uh, it is, so everything revolves around Wigtown and it's basically, in the middle of where I work. So it's gonna be really, really handy for my work. Can't wait to see more of this. Taryn? Taryn? Uh, with all these rooms in the house, would you consider using them as guest rooms? <laughs> like a B and B says Wind River Rider. Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, we're gonna, one of them's gonna be a studio for YouTube. One will be an office. Uh, some of the boys. Um, I actually have a daughter who I don't talk about too much on the channel, but one of them will be her bedrooms eventually. Uh, then we have dining room, bathroom, toilet, everything else that we need. So, nah, we probably won't have it as a and b uh, Congratulations. Thanks very much, Janice. Thanks, Cindy. Will you be showing the whole remodel, says Robin. Well, actually, Robin, yes, I am going to show you the whole remodel, um, bit by bit, piece by piece, but not on this channel. I've actually got another YouTube channel, which I used to use all the, well, I started to use and then became too busy with the Hoot GP, so gave up on it. You guys can go and search for GPs Everything. So the letters GPS Everything. GPs Everything. And all of the updates on the house, all of the animals, all of our life here in this new um, beginning for us, which it really is, is going to be on the Hoof, on the YouTube channel GPs Everything. So yeah, I will be documenting it, but it will not be interfering with Hoof Driven because everybody knows. Me and Hoof Trimming are, we're tight, you know? What about Steve and Mia? Well, there was an argument earlier, Terry, actually. Stevie and Mia have not been here yet, but we can't wait to get them here because there's so much room out front. I can't show you properly because it's dark here in Scotland right now. I can't show you just how much room there is outside, but I can't wait to get them here because they are gonna freak. They will absolutely love it, so they will. Um, have you decided what type of cows you'll have? Will you guys tell me what kind of cows or cow or cows would you like me to get? Or Highland. <laughs> Mrs. 50p shouting Highland. Um, you guys tell me what you would like. What do you know about hoof trimmers in Germany? It says Emwald. Not that much actually, but I do know. I do know a few, uh, and they are really, really good. Uh, Germans, if you're German, I'm not sure, but Germans tend to be militant about everything, and they are. There are some fantastic hoof trimmers in Germany. So yeah, good, really good. Some good hoof trimming companies over. <laughs> uh, not luck, no luck, fate. You're such a hard. Oh, no luck. You're such a hard worker. I'm only a hard worker some of the time. I like to play as well. Well, I don't know. Do I play enough, Ashley? Ashley doesn't want to be on the video and she doesn't realise she is right now. <laughs> maybe it's too much sometimes. She says maybe I work a little bit too much sometimes. No, I play too much. Oh, maybe play too much sometimes. Sorry. She sleeps um, plenty. I'm with the wife, Highlands or Holsteins. What about... How, would people like me to bring Gracie here for a retirement? Can you imagine me with Cow812 living in my back garden? Yeah. How awesome would that be? Gracie and the HFGP together. Uh, give me more questions, guys, and I'm trying to read them. So, we used to have an Ayrshire. Ayrshire cows are good for milk. That would give us plenty. Maybe one Belted Galloway. A Belted Galloway is definitely, like, way up there on the list. I would love a Belted Galloway here. Guys, hit that thumbs up button right now and see how many people are actually watching and paying attention. It says there are about a thousand and a half of you watching. Uh, 
Dexter, a Dexter is a really good shout, Mona, actually. A Dexter, for those of you who don't know what a Dexter cow is, a Dexter cow is basically a miniature cow. So it'd be really light on the land and it'd be awesome. Dexter cows are awesome. Homestead in the <laughs> Highlands. Homestead in the Highlands, if you're watching, yeah, I'm thinking about you. Uh, what else have we got? Watch the like button. The like button has just shot up, actually. Zyl, you're right. It has been totally shooting up. So thanks very much, guys, for hitting the like button right now. So, guys, tell me. I need some feedback. What videos have you enjoyed lately? I know which ones I've enjoyed making, but I'd love to know what one, which ones you've enjoyed watching the most. Personally, for me, the one I just did with Kia the other day, where we trimmed that crazy bull, I loved making it. I really enjoyed the video. Um, what happens is basically when I edit a video, if I get bored watching that video, then I just delete it. I don't quite um, I don't finish it because if I'm bored, then you guys are definitely going to be bored. I want more drone videos of the scenery. Actually, that is a really good point, Godzi, because, or J Godzi, I haven't done enough drone footage lately, um, so there will be loads more coming. Um, I plan on doing some videos that I can be really, really proud of uh, in the very near future, so in the next couple of weeks. Um, I want to do some big videos showing more about where we live, um, following my life around hoof trimming as well, so it'll still involve all the hoof trimming and day to day, but I want to show you the ins and outs, what we do in the morning, um, the logistics of actually being a hoof trimmer working in South West Scotland. Uh, get the the Beatles cow, I think you mean the Bellies. <laughs> the Bellies cow, get Highland all the way. Do you think Tom Pemberton would give me a Highland calf? Probably would, wouldn't he? Kelly Ashcroft, I like when you trim bulls and also when you run into sore hoofs and are able to help the cow follow ups too. I, I love the follow ups as well. Um, I like giving people the sort of tools and the knowledge to how to fix their own cows and I like being able to prove that it does work by fixing them and showing the sort of documentary of this is how the cow was, this is what we did to her, this is what we needed to do it to her again, we needed to revisit her and this is how you can actually cure your cow in the finish up. So I love the follow up videos as well. Um, that cow that had the huge, huge puss abscess, by the way, we're seeing her in a couple of days' time, so we will be getting an update on her. Gracie, you guys are getting an update on Gracie uh, tomorrow. That is a really good video. Can't wait to get it finished. Uh, like I said, Gracie, well, you'll have to see what's happening with her feet. It's, is it good? Is it bad? I'm not, not quite sure, but you guys will definitely tell me. Um, and she is looking fantastic. And like I said, she's pregnant, so there will be a baby Gracie at some point. You are breaking up a bit, so have you checked out Wi-Fi? They're not so good for us. I've been to Scotland many times as kids, university there for over 11 years. Sorry for breaking up, guys. We don't have Wi-Fi in this house yet. Um, we So the plan for the house is all of this is going. A huge kitchen is going to be put in its place. These walls are all being taken down. It will all be white, light, bright and breezy in here. And it will be a hub of... Um, Family home dumb, if that makes sense, which it doesn't. Right, chuck some more questions at me, guys, and then I'm gonna head. We will do a proper tour of this property so that you can see the house more, more clearly. You can see the animal pens, you can see the workshop much more clearly. I'll give you drone footage of the area and you'll be able to see how amazing the view is from here. And as I told you earlier in this live, there will be way, way more um, content to come from this. And if you head over to GP's Everything, the YouTube channel GP's Everything, then we will keep you updated there um, in a less edited style of video, but it will be showing you our lives here at our new home, which we're hoping to move into in December. Campbell, you look weird, don't do that. <laughs> <It looks weird. laughs> Ask Tom for a Highlander too before they end up in the shop. Yeah, actually, Tom Pemberton, if you're watching. I want a Highland cow, send me one. Highland bull, I want a Highland bull. Uh, right, I'm gonna head off. Hi, my Jack. Hi, Flavia. Oh, okay, people are sending in super chats. Thanks very much, guys. It's really, really kind of you. Um, I watch every video, grew up on a 100 head milkers. I can identify with your passion. Thanks, Jodie. You know, the passion thing, sometimes um, I do something that, some things that I shouldn't do. I read. 
people comment, and I probably shouldn't be reading those comments. It's Campbell making faces. <laughs> yes, isn't he? Um, sometimes my passion in the videos, I have to cut it down a bit because I love what I do. I love my life. I love working on the farms. I love hoof trimming. I really, really love every part of my life right now. And sometimes I think it sounds fake because, yeah, life for us right now is really, really good. And I hope it's good for everyone else watching this. Campbell is being so goofy, I know. <laughs> Campbell, stop doing that. You'll break YouTube. You get to see one time. <laughs> That's Campbell pretty much every day, by the way, guys. Uh, hello, Nutty Cow. Nice name. Hi. Tom Pemberton collaboration. Make your own ice cream. You have no idea how good an idea that idea is, by the way. Me and Tom Pemberton teaming up to make the best ice cream in the world ever. What? And Mummy's watching that. Mummy's watching what it, is she? What would we call ice cream for those teamed up? Right, here's one for you. Come up with a good name. You know what I'm saying? Come up with a good name for an ice cream that me and Tom Pemberton would make together because it would have to be a good name so it would sell a lot because if it didn't sell a lot, I would just eat it all because I love ice cream. Anybody that knows me properly will testify to that. Uh, there's nothing fake about you. Oh, don't worry about that. Gosh, I read that one. Cringe. <laughs> Hi, Campbell. I like Campbell. Pumpkin latte ice cream. Nice, nice. That would be good. It's precious. Hello, Graham from California. Terror Bear. Hi, how are you? Thanks very much. That's nice. Uh, nothing wrong with sharing passion for what you do. Thanks very much, Susan S. Thanks for being a member. That's a good one. Guys, um, to all the members out there, I really hope you're enjoying the extra content on the member side of things. But <coughs> equally, everybody watching this who isn't a member, I really hope you haven't noticed any changes, that I haven't pulled back in, and that I am giving you every bit as much as I did before the membership side of things was there, because my aim was just to make everything the same and make sure I was making as good a content as possible. And I promise I will continue to push things as much as I can and make each video better than the last. I did try. It can be hard, but I did try. Uh, right. Questions. Right. Fling some uh, GP ice cream. Moo cream. Moo cream's quite good. I like G. G&T ice cream. G&T. G&T ice cream. Did somebody say G&T ice, ice cream? I didn't see that. Whoever said G&T ice cream, that is, that could be a winner. Uh, thanks for your tips and tricks. I started level two agricultural course last Monday. Well done, Jamie. That is an awesome course. Uh, I know loads of people doing uh, agricultural courses on the farms that I visit, and that really is cool. I must channel the ginger warrior and say, Tom Pemberton and I. <laughs> if you guys watch Tom Pemberton Farm Life, you'll know exactly what Brenda is talking about. Uh, that's good. Uh, it's uplifting and great to share your happiness. Thanks very much, Kelly. That's nice. Uh, you love jerseys, so that is what you should get. I do love jerseys to look at. Uh, trimming jerseys can be um, um, soul destroying. Soul destroying? Hard. Challenging, that's it. Pem Parker Pemberton Dairy. Mm. Moveless Mocha Ice Cream, that's a good one. P and P. Oh, Parker and Pemberton. P and P Ice Cream, that's quite good. P oh, that is good. I wondered what you meant, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. Uh, Moo juice ice cream, cow chips ice cream, Glen Morangi single whip. Now that could be a winner, and that's whiskey ice cream for people that don't know. Campbell is hilarious. Campbell is ridiculous, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he really is. Uh, what else are you guys saying? Okay, we're at 23 minutes. I will give you another five minutes and then I'll stop boring you. Um, homemade. PP ice cream. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, Gate, uh, thanks very much for the suggestion, Gate, but PP ice cream might not be the winner. Uh, it's funny that Tom doesn't even know what we're talking about, does it? Flo frozen slurry. Ooh, P squared. Yeah, I like all these. These are good. These are good. These are good. Who thinks I should do another collaboration with Tom? Um, I've been speaking to Tom a little bit lately. Uh, buy that field. I should buy that field, Linda. You're right. Um, yeah, I've been speaking to Tom a little bit lately, and uh, we kind of said we'd do this another collab at some, ta some point, but again, coronavirus, don't want to go on about it, but it gets in the way of everything. But hopefully there will be a collaboration coming up with Tom, and there is a collaboration coming up with another big social media influencer, and I don't want to tell you who it is right now, but it is somebody pretty prominent, pretty big, and somebody I'm excited to meet, because I've never met him before. Uh, 
And yeah, he could definitely teach me a thing or two, and I'm pretty sure I can teach him one or two things because we're from completely different worlds. Well, we are and we aren't. We do the same kind of thing, but to different animals. So yeah, that would be cool. And he's big on social media, so that could be really, really cool. Uh, South Down cattle for beef, jerseys to milk. Yeah, that's probably right. Jerseys for ice cream anyway. You need a name for your farm. Guys, that is a really, really good point. Marcy Adkinson. So, the place that we live is called, well, sorry, the place we bought is called Lake Kirkland. So L-A-I-G-H, Lake. It means little in Scottish. So Lake Kirkland. And we don't like the name, to be honest. So no, we're, Graham doesn't like Sorry, Graham doesn't Ashley like the name. Does. Ashley does. So yeah, we're changing the name. Uh, so yeah, I need a new name for this place. I quite like the name. Bonnie View Cottage, as in the view's amazing and it's a cottage, so yeah. Any better names than that? Bonnie View Cottage. Uh, hi from the Bronx. Hi Melissa, how are the Bronx tonight? Hope you are well and safe. Milky Way Farm, that's quite good. The Queen's Hoofs at Gate. <laughs> Stop eating the keys, Campbell. Fantastic news, thanks very much, Katie. Where is everybody tonight? Are you miles away? Is it morning? Is it night time? Is it the same time as the UK? Whereabouts are you right now? Right now here it is half past eight and it is almost pitch black. For you guys who have just joined the live chat, I have bought, or we have bought, me and the family have bought a small farmish type place with a house, a huge warehouse and an agricultural outbuilding where we can keep cows or sheep or pigs or goats or chickens or anything like that. And we do plan to keep all slash some of the above and bring them into the channel and I want to show you and bring you along for our journey because it's not just, when I say our, I don't just mean our as in my family, I mean our as in mine and you guys there watching this. This is part of your journey and I want you to share every bit as much as, um, as we do. I think it's amazing what we've achieved uh, together and I really want to keep promoting hoof trimming around the world and to try to educate people as to why cows become lame, what farmers think about it. I want to teach anybody who's watching this right now who owns cows how to look after their own cattle and how to make them as comfortable as possible. So YouTube isn't just about me and that's not why it started. Um, it started because people saw me on social media and they said, well, why don't you teach us how to do this or that? And I thought, do you know what? There are people further afield <coughs> who are out with the scope of being able to get a professional hoof trimmer but they do have cows, they do have cloven feet animals, and I want to be able to teach them how to look after those cows to the best of my ability. And I want to promote the dairy industry within Scotland and actually around the world and educate people as to why, well, there's a sick cow, she looks terrible, oh my God, bad farmer. Well, actually, that cow is sick and looks terrible because of this, and this is what we're going to do about it, and that's what the farmer thinks about it. And no, we don't think it's okay. This is what we want to do, and this is how we want to look after this cow and make her as comfortable as possible. So when I say journey, it started out as that, but it's become a much bigger thing. Um, I get comments and messages and emails from people all over the world um, about how the channel impacts on their lives, and it is breathtaking actually some of the some of the things that people send me and it really really kind of touches me and my family so this journey this new house the outbuildings the animals the hoof trimming school everything that is coming to the channel is partly is uh, it's all encompassing it you are a part of it i really really believe that and i want to take you along for the ride so i will be documenting everything as much as i possibly possibly can Michigan, love watching you. Holland, uh, we got 30 head of Limousin Highlands. Thank you when I feed them loaves of today old bread. They absolutely love bread actually, especially Highlands. If you watch Tom, you'll know that. Uh, hi Jack, hi Cindy, are you going to raise honeybees? Um, I would, I love honeybees because if you've ever eaten the honeycomb with the honey on toast, it is absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, guys, if you have you hit the, th the thumbs up button, if you haven't hit it, why not? It's just there, look. Press, press, yay! Over a thousand, well done guys. <laughs> so yeah, I would have honeybees, but I think we'd have stung birds, uh, stung birds, stung children, so that wouldn't be good. The beard's coming along, <laughs> it will be nice when it's finished. Thanks, coffee. 
<laughs> There's a reason for the beard, believe it or not. Hey, Dad, mum's the best. Mum's the best. There are scars all around here. I have bite mark here. So yeah, the beard is coming along, but I'll trim it back because I'll get itchy soon. Uh, <laughs> what else? Generate any more dogs. Actually, that is a good point. Mia and Steve, as soon as Mia comes back into what season, we will have puppies because she is at the right age now, and it is much healthier for her to have one litter of puppies, and we love our dogs to pieces. So yeah, she will, we will be having more dogs. Messi's Hoof GP stood over there, says we're not keeping any, but Mr. Hoof GP says we are. She's not looking at me. We're keeping one, aren't we, Campbell? Yep. And Craig wants one of the puppies as well. So yeah, there will be more dogs on the channel. Uh, what else? I keep having to refresh you. Frenchies, Frenchies are awesome, aren't they? Really enjoy your videos, how they're made. Me really interested in taking a course in hoof trimming. For you, I get lots and lots of messages asking where you can learn to hoof trim, how do you learn to hoof trim, what do you have to do. Technically, you don't have to do anything, but do not go and just trim your own cow's feet or trim someone else's cow's feet without doing a course. You can go to Embryonics UK, you can hit up Aaron Lavoy in the States, there is the Cattle Lameless Academy, Nick Bell does courses, uh, Neil Barrett does excellent courses, Vic Daniel in Canada, Peter Kusterman in Holland. So if you need to know where to go for a course, I'll probably know the teacher in some sort of respect. So hit me up on social media. Send me a message and I will tell you where there is a course near you, how much it is, how long it'll take, and I won't want any thanks for it. I'll just want you to attend it and really enjoy it. Guys, this has been half an hour and uh, now I'm probably starting to bore you, so I don't want to keep yakking on for too much longer. Uh, love the videos. I'm from Ireland and it helps a lot. Thanks, Brendan. Appreciate the feedback. Do you trim your own cows, Brendan? Uh, Thanks. I used to watch my dad do the horses. It was great for me. Doing horses is cool. Hi, Mrs. Hip GP, says Carol. Hi. She'll have to catch next time I'm up in D and G says MHG Photographies. D and G. Dumfries and Gallery, that's where I live, by the way. Uh, hi from Iowa. I hope the storms didn't affect you too much, Laurie. Iowa was hit with some bad, bad storms. I saw a lot of damage on Millennial Farms. Uh, videos and cool look on stars bad not good not good right guys thanks very much for joining me i really appreciate you coming along for the ride uh i really really do check out the video tomorrow on gracie i may put some aerial footage in of this place so you can see it properly in the daylight but until then from me it's goodbye from messy's hoof gm campbell it's goodbye bye and from keeks the star of the last video what is it? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.